Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google, and it also happens to be our 200th episode. To celebrate, I've asked some of our friends to help out. We recently announced WebView DevTools, a new set of on-device debugging tools to diagnose WebView-caused crashes and misbehaving web platform features. WebView DevTools comes included as part of WebView itself, and you can launch it by trying out WebView Beta. A link to the user guide is on the post. We recently released a PubSub to Splunk data flow template. Using this data flow template, you can export data from PubSub to Splunk. Check out the post for details on setting up a streaming pipeline to natively push your Google Cloud data to your Splunk Cloud or Splunk Enterprise instance. gRPC is a high performance, open source, universal RPC framework originally developed here at Google that you can use to connect services more easily and reliably. Paired with Kotlin, you could build everything from mobile apps to cloud microservices. To help, we've open sourced gRPC Kotlin for the JVM, allowing you to use gRPC with your Kotlin projects. More details and sample code are on the post. Google Cloud's operating system patch management service protects your running VMs against defects and vulnerabilities, and it's now generally available. The service works on Google Compute Engine and across operating system environments. For more details, there's a link to the docs in the post. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen an inspiring response from the developer community. To support your response efforts, we're prioritizing Google Maps platform credit applications for COVID-19 related not-for-profit projects who offer publicly available websites and mobile apps. For more details and links, head over to the post. Chrome 83 Beta is now available. Take a look at the post for all the updates, including cross-site scripting protection, improved form controls, and safe cross-origin resource sharing. CodePen is a leading social development environment for millions of front-end developers and designers, and it now supports Flutter. We hope this new Flutter playground on CodePen empowers you to build and showcase your own cool animations, ideas, Flutter vignettes, and more. Screenshots and links to get started are in the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and on behalf of all of us on the Developer Show team, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.